Hey there, I'm Emily Muehlstein, and this is a public hearing video on Refish Amendment 47, which looks at Vermilion Snapper Maximum Sustainable Yield Proxy and the Stock Annual Catch Limit. We're here because the Council received a new stock assessment. As a result of that stock assessment, the Council Scientific Advisors, the SSC, or Scientific and Statistical Committee, revised the Maximum Sustainable Yield and the acceptable biological catch yield streams. So now the council must consider updating the current maximum sustainable yield definition and the annual catch limits to align them with the best available scientific information. There are simply two actions in this amendment. The first one looks at updating the maximum sustainable yield and the second action looks at the vermilion snapper annual catch limit. We'll start with action one, which addresses the vermilion snapper maximum sustainable yield. Right now, the vermilion snapper maximum sustainable yield is based on an assessment model that is no longer used. The estimate, which was set in 2004 through Amendment 23, has a high level of variability and results in low confidence in the current maximum sustainable yield estimate. That most recent stock assessment, which was completed this year, used a maximum sustainable yield proxy, and the Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee recommended using the yield when fishing at a mortality rate that corresponds to 30% of the spawning potential ratio. The Council is also considering a maximum sustainable yield proxy based on 26% of the spawning potential ratio. This would allow for higher catch limits, but also a lower spawning stock level, so it's a bit riskier. There are three alternatives being considered in action one. The first is the no action alternative, and that would not use a proxy for maximum sustainable yield. Instead, it would use the maximum sustainable yield level estimated by the previous assessment. The second alternative is the council's current preferred alternative, and that would use a proxy for maximum sustainable yield and it would set the fishing mortality rate at 30% of the spawning potential ratio. And finally, we can consider alternative three, which would also use a proxy for the vermilion snapper maximum sustainable yield, but this would be based on a fishing mortality at 26% of spawning potential ratio. We'll move on to action two, which considers annual catch limits for vermilion snapper. So based on the last stock assessment, the council scientific advisors suggested two possible sets of acceptable biological catch yield streams. And these differ because they're based on the different maximum sustainable yield proxies that could be adopted in action one, which we just discussed. So the table on the left shows the acceptable biological catch yield stream if 30% spawning potential ratio proxy is used for MSY. The table on the right shows the acceptable biological catch yield streams if 26% spawning potential ratio proxy is used for MSY. You'll notice on both tables, we show not only a yield stream over the years 2017 through 2021, but also a constant catch scenario. And then finally, if you look at the table all the way to the right, it shows historical vermilion snapper harvest in both the commercial and recreational sectors and then together as a total. We've highlighted the years in red that would exceed 3,110,000 pounds, and that represents the constant catch scenario under the 30% spawning potential. So we have four alternatives here. The first is the no action alternative, and that would leave the annual catch limit for vermilion snapper at 3.42 million pounds whole weight. Alternative two, the annual catch limit for vermilion snapper for the years 2017 through 2021 would be based on the annual acceptable biological catch level derived from fishing at 75% of the maximum sustainable yield proxy selected in action one. Preferred alternative three is that the annual catch for vermilion snapper for the years 2017 through 2021 would be based on the constant catch average for the five years annual catch limit when fishing at 75% of the maximum sustainable yield proxy selected in action one. And then finally, alternative four, the annual catch limit for vermilion snapper for the years 2017 through 2021 will be a constant catch at the equilibrium acceptable biological catch level 
when fishing at 75% of the MSY proxy yields selected in action one as well. These two tables will show you the different alternatives for selecting an annual catch limit under the two scenarios for the MXY proxy. The top table will show you the 30% spawning potential ratio proxy, and the bottom table will show you the 26% spawning potential ratio proxy being used for maximum sustainable yield. The council would like to hear your thoughts before taking final action on this amendment. They plan to take that final action at their June meeting, so your comments should be submitted by May 30th at the very latest. You can submit comments online by clicking this link, or you can simply email us at golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and let us know what you think.